Men, we know that life can be a battle, but we're not alone in this fight. Addiction, despair, loneliness, anger, lust, and the pains of our past are just a few of the enemies we face each and every day. But fear not. God says we have a powerful ally in Him. Men, we serve a God who is greater than fear, and we can trust Him because He will fight for us. At the No Regrets Men's Conference, we will come together to be reminded of this life-changing truth and be equipped to live fearlessly in every area of our lives. So join us on February 3rd, 2024, for this half-day event where you will be encouraged, challenged, and prepared to live life fearlessly in the world today. Whether you attend at a local host site church or a small group or join us at Elmbrook Church in Brookfield, Wisconsin, you will experience powerful worship, inspiring speakers, and a brotherhood unlike any other. Speakers like Sky Jathani, Kenny Luck, Derwin Gray, Ricky Jenkins, Chip Ingram, and many others will share their wisdom on marriage, work, parenting, and so much more. So don't wait any longer. Register now for the No Regrets Men's Conference at noregretsconference.org and take the first step toward living a fearless life in Christ. Let's stand together and fight the good fight, knowing that our God is with us every step of the way. I look forward to seeing you on February 3rd, 2024. Hello, Chris Dierauer from Crossing Community Church in charge of the men's ministry. I'm here with Les Sutton and just want to do a quick uh, interview about Les's experience from No Regrets from last year. So Les, uh, just talk to me a little bit about um, yourself, kind of your background sure. um, in terms of like your work and family and that. Basically, I worked in the trucking industry for 40 years here, uh, on and off. And um, as far as faith goes, I was, I was raised a Christian uh, in a Presbyterian church uh, and was baptized as a child. But uh, after that, uh, after really high school, uh, you know, I, I kind of moved away from God and from, from the church. I haven't gone consistently. Uh, you know, I, the only time I went to church was at Christmas and, and Easter, like, like most people when they go visit their parents. And really the only time I prayed was pretty much uh, when I needed something. So uh, that's where I was at in my faith. Uh, basically, my life was my job, uh, really, working six days a week, uh, sometimes seven. So that's where I was. That's where I'm at. So talk to me about No Regrets and kind of the journey that led you up to coming to No Regrets. What did that look like? Did someone ask you? Like what, yeah. What that journey um, like? the, uh, my wife, after I had retired, you know, I pretty much had a void in my life. And she uh, had mentioned that uh, she had asked me if I wanted to come to uh, the church here and listen to Russell Hedder preach. Uh, we were family friends of the headers. Uh, my wife is his mother's best friend. And yeah, I hadn't seen Russ in a long time. So I wanted to come and, and reconnect. So I agreed to come to church. I did that a couple times with Russ preaching. And uh, I was pretty impressed with uh, where he's gone with his life and reconnecting with him was was pretty cool. Uh, so but even after then, I wasn't committed to uh, full-time engagement with uh, God in the church, any church. So, uh, But then Russ continued to pursue me, I believe, and asked me to go to the No Regrets Conference. That's how I got introduced to it. So he tapped you on the shoulder. Yeah. He said but... this would be a, a good thing. Uh, I was <laughs> apprehensive because it's an all-day thing, and, and you know I hadn't been able to sit down in church for an hour. Now I'm going to go for a full day. What are they going to do to me here? What's yeah. going on here? Yeah. So, but his dad had agreed to come. So I knew his dad. So I, I agreed to come and, and was very pleased. That's awesome. So what was your experience that day when you got here? The speakers, the, the music? Uh, it, was, it was very informal to begin with. Uh, informal, but structured, I would say. It was a, it was a good day. I was uh, impressed with the uh, content. And the flow of the day, uh, they had some very uh, inspirational speakers, uh, very educational fellows as well to me. Uh, and then at the end of the day, they kind of broke it up with a, a uh, 
work group exercise that you were able to pick which subject you thought was more important to you. So that was good. There was some good variety. The day flowed. Uh, so it was, it was very, very good. That's awesome. How did it impact your faith specifically? Was there a turning point after that conference for you? Yeah, I, th I think so. I believe so that uh, once I went to the conference, uh, my behavior changed. Um, I was really interested in the part about uh, one of the speakers spoke about how Christianity is under uh, really, you know, being persecuted in today's world. So that to me was like, you know, do something. So I started, have started going to church uh, regularly. I read the Bible regularly. Uh, and, and I think I'm starting to make decisions, you know, by asking, is this the right thing to do? What would, what does God really want this to happen or not? So, uh, versus in the old days, just doing it for myself. So yeah, I do think it's made a big change for me and my journey toward, uh, faith and God. That's awesome. What recommendation would you have for a man sitting in the audience similar to maybe where you were a year ago? I would definitely come to this conference. It's, it's, it'll be well worth your time spent on a Saturday morning in the middle of winter. Uh, it, it's, it's uh, again, very inspirational. Uh, the speakers are excellent. There's some good fellowship. Uh, I would highly recommend it. If you're looking to reaffirm your faith or kickstart your faith, uh, then, then this is the place to go, so. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Russ. Yeah. Have a good one. You too. Hey, this is Chris from Cross Community Church. Just want to invite you guys to No Regrets. Again, February 3rd, 8 to 1 o'clock. We're going to have some great speakers. We're going to have live music. We're going to have some great food. Scan the QR code right here to register, and I hope to see you guys there. Thanks so much.